I started this channel about seven weeks ago. And since then, 290,000 new shirt listings have hit Etsy. On average, that's about 5,500 shirts per week. You're talking over 785 each day. How are you supposed to compete against that? So in this video, I'm going to show you how I personally research new products and to show you that you're not just stuck with selling shirts and being stuck in the masses and trying to figure out how I'm going to make money. So join me as I show you how to do that. And if you're new to this channel, my name is George McConnell and I made over a million dollars on Etsy. Now, before I get started, I just want to say, I'm not really sure why so many listings are hitting Etsy every single day just for shirts. I could assume that maybe it's because of how many videos are out there showing, hey, look how easy it is to make money selling shirts online. Or it could just be, we wear shirts every day and it just seems easy. I don't really know. All I know is the amount of shirts that are being listed each day is making it harder and harder for you to compete. There are 60 other POD categories to choose from. And between those 60 categories, there's products underneath each and every single one of them. So you're not stuck just selling shirts. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how I research companies and how I look at products and how I figure out what to sell. And hopefully this will help you figure out, hey, I wanna go into this niche or I wanna go into that niche. I wanna sell this product. I wanna sell that product. How do I go about doing it? This video is going to teach you how to do that. So really quick side note, this is for educational purposes. I'm not saying to go after any product that I show you in this video. I'm just showing you how to do the research and figure that out. You know, the product that you choose to sell is up to you. You're the one doing all the back end work. You're the one creating the design. You're the one talking to customers. So something has to resonate with you. So the things that I'm showing you in this video is how to do research on different product lines, different, you know, POD categories. So I don't want you to think what I'm showing you today is something that, you know, I say everybody should jump into because if you don't fully understand it, resonate with it, or, you know, want to even do that category don't you know just use this information to figure out how to choose a category for you so the first thing i do when i'm searching up a product and i want to know you know hey is this something that i should sell i want to see how much it's being searched up on etsy so what i do is i launch etsy i launch everby and then i type in the keyword that i'm going to be searching for that product so in this case i'm looking up canvas wall art so canvas wall art and let's see what it comes back with. So with this, we have 2,603 monthly searches. Pretty good. Uh, wall art painting 1,991, not bad. And well, this is interesting. This is a really long keyword, but this comes up as 128 monthly searches. So this definitely means something that if somebody's typing in that much information and getting search results still, this is definitely a great uh, you know, category to go after. So let's see if we can make some money on here. So what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna launch Everbee. I've already put this in here, right? And this is just to save time so you don't see the little wheel pulling. You can see how many listings there are, 788,000 using this actual tag. Um, but here's the thing, right? I don't care how many are showing here because you can still be successful as long as you can find shops that are just started and they're still making money. That shows that, hey, there's still room here. So this is what we go after. I'm not looking for shops that are 99 months old. I'm not looking for shops that are 48 months old, 60 months, you know, four years, five years. That's a long time that, that shop's been in business. They know what they're doing. And if I try to go after these guys, I'm not going to be able to compete against them. They are going to destroy me. So instead, I'm looking for companies that are underneath two years old, like about a year and a half is good, a year to a year and a half, we wanna stick with that. So in this case, we're gonna look up, we got 16 months here. It's not bad right there, framed art, but it's only $45. I want something more, I like, I like money, so. So keep going down. We got this guy right here, 14 months. Let me make myself smaller because obviously I'm in the way, right? <laughs> Uh, let's see, 14 months, we got a seven month one too, and 14 months, so seven months, 14 months. The seven month here, let's see what this is. 
Uh, that is a custom vinyl lyric. So what you do is you they're sending in their picture of you know marriage, loved one, whatnot, and then you're creating uh, you know lyrics to a song around it. They probably have that preset up, but that's something that I don't like to go into. I don't like to do personalization. That's just me. Personalization makes a lot of money though. Um, a lot of money. I mean, this thing's only been, you know, listing age one month and they're making $5,000 in gross revenue. That's insane. Uh, they're charging pretty hefty for that, right? This one here, 14 months. Uh, it's a treat. See, this is something I would go into. There's no personalization. I create it. I just have it going, rolling with Printify, getting it, doing it, done, right? So this is something I'm looking, I want to look at here. So with this, we're going to open this one. Yeah, estimated 26 sales, estimate monthly revenue, uh, $5,404. That is gross. 67 sales. And this thing's only been listed for four months, not even 14. So the shop's 14 months old, but this is only four months old. And it's bringing in some pretty good money here, right? Now, this is based off of here. So we don't know if that's actually how much they're bringing in. They may have different sizes. Um not really a fan of their keywords no idea why they're using christmas i would definitely be able to pull off even more money by getting these keywords down that's one right uh their conversion rate's not that great probably because they're getting hit with all these different keywords that aren't really making sense uh they repeat a lot of keywords too so let's just go and see what this has to offer right so here we go yeah so 69 dollars, but there are different sizes that's what that plus is for and you have slim and thick. Oh, wow. It goes up to $193. See, now this is something that I want to get into. I like the higher paying uh, items, right? It makes more money. So let's see. And then you have here different sizes. Okay. So we're going to do, well, first let's see what slim is. Since this is a canvas, I'm going to assume uh, slim is 0.75 inches and that the thicker one's 1.5. And I am correct. Yeah, 0.8 inches, 1.6 inches. It's actually 0.75 and uh, one and a half. So, you know, we're going to go to slim. And we're going to choose, you know, let's do this big one here. Um, 20 by 40. I don't actually think that we can have that one. Maybe a 16 by 32 at $99. It's not bad. It's pretty good. I mean, we could go with this full one here. But let's just do this one right here, middle one. 16 by 32, slim, $99.30. Okay, so pulling that up, I'm going to pull up my little calculator here, right? $99.30. Say if you sold 67 of them like they did, that'd be $6,653. It's not bad. All right, next thing we're going to do is pull up Printify. So I got to move myself. And we are going to look up Canvas. Because we want to see canvases. I'm going to move myself over here. So I'm, again, not in the way. Now, Printify. Underneath here, we have the different um, merchants that are selling it. And Merch 1. This one here, you have 0.75 and 1.5. This is perfect right here. So, oh, and look at that. They are 10 stars. So 10 quality, 10 production speed, and 10 on reliability. I like that. All right. So 10 for 10. Uh, we are going to look up their costs. So with that again, right, we're doing the 16 by 32, uh, you know, horizontal. So 16 by 32, yeah, 16 by uh, 16 by 30. It's kind of close. Um, you know what we'll do? We'll, we'll base it off of this one right here. The 16 uh, by 30, just to get an estimate, you know, it's off by what, a couple inches here, but we would have different sizes to offer. I mean, we can offer all the way up to a 30 by 40 and they're not showing that. So that's great, right? There's one plus on us. So here we go. 30 by this, this is 2690. So we're going to do 2690. I'm doing this off camera just so I can do the math for you guys, right? I'll put it on the screen. So 2690, if we have that premium, that's $30 a month, but in this case, that would help because this would be $34.93 if we didn't have that $30 uh, premium plan from Printify. So in this case, this is a great thing to have because we're saving a lot of money, right? And then we want to see how much the shipping is. So the shipping here for that size, 
Uh, let's see. So it's 3129 for 16 by 30. So let me do that 21, uh, 31, I'm sorry, 3129. That's just because it's a canvas. So it's a little bit, you know, a little bit more. So do the calculation on that on it's 2690 and then plus it costs 3129, right? So it's gonna cost us $58.19 to make this item and ship it to the consumer. So with that being said, let's see if they offer any shipping. They offer free shipping. Okay, so we're gonna to have to eat that shipping cost. They're doing 40% off right now. So we're gonna go in here to our little calculator, do 40% off. You know, they're just trying to make it look good, right? And what was our, uh, how much were we spending again? 58.19. So 58.19 and we are not doing shipping. And here we go. I mean, it's not too bad. You know, you're making $31.23. Uh, I guarantee as you get up higher into these sizes, probably going to be bringing in a lot of money, right? So let's go into this bigger one, right? Let's go into this big guy. I, I want the I want the big ones. I want this one right here for $193. Now, that's what I'm talking about. $20, $193. Now, we already saw that that's not an option for us. But we can get kind of close to that size or even bigger. So if we went bigger than that, we're doing 1.5 inches. Remember, we're doing thick, right? 1.5 inches. Uh, and it starts at 1397 for the smaller one. All right, so let's see how much this would be, right? So we have horizontal. And we have, we even have a 30 by 40 that we can sell them. So we can even go higher, right? But we're going to look up 24 by 36. Uh, you know, theirs was 20 by 40. We're only off by four inches on this way, but we are four inches higher. So let's do that, right? Now, like I said earlier, you know, in these canvas things, that Printify premium is a deal. 55.86 versus 72. So let's do that. 55.86, right, for that cost. And now we want to see how much it's going to cost us to ship that item. And we're going to go to standard. We're going to ship it in the United States. We could ship it to Canada too. Wow, look at that. We can do Canada. We could do all these different things. You got Canada. You got rest of the world. That's nice. All right, so horizontal. Um, where is it? Right here. 24 by 36 is 31.29. 31.29. We can even do deals too because as you add additional items, it's only $9. So right there, I would do bundle sets. Uh, make extreme amount of money with that. So I'm going to bring up my calculator here. I'm going to type this in 55.86 plus 31.29. It's costing me $87.15 to make this item. Now, they're selling it for $193.17. 40% off, remember? So they're listing it at $321, but they're doing a 40% sale. Okay. That comes to 193. Now from there, we're gonna calculate our 8715. That's how much it cost us. And we're doing no price for shipping. We are making 45% net margin on this. $87.21 each one we sell in that bigger size. And as we get larger, we'll make even more money, which is great. So let's go based off of that. Let's just say our 67 sales were on this number, okay? 87, 87.21 times 67 sales would bring us in $5,843 of net profit. Divide that by four months, you're looking at $1,400, $1,460 each and every single month of net profit for that big, large canvas. Now, are people buying these larger canvases? I don't know, but the big thing is to know that as you're going up in size, you're making more money. Your margins are increasing. We just went, you know, in the 30s all the way to the mid 40s. That's great, and that is amazing, and that's what I want to see. So one more thing to just look at, how is this company making so much money so quickly? I bet you right now, based on that last video I showed you, they are probably sticking with just one niche and one target audience. So let's just go see this, right? Deliberate flow. So it's, yeah, it probably is. 
And yep, so there's a tree right at the top, right? And here it is, all trees. No customization, no personalization. It's just all these different trees, beautiful colors, by the way. But this is how they're really bringing in that money. I'm gonna move myself right into the middle. This is how you make money. And this is a product that I would personally sell and I would go after. So I know I went through that kind of quick and I did, you know, throw myself all over the place and throw up, you know, calculators and all that stuff. Um, I hope that you got a better understanding on how I search for products and what I'm looking for when I want to sell something. Uh, mainly, I am not searching for companies that are established. I do not want to go against a company that's been in business for, you know, five, six, seven years. You're not going to be able to compete against a company like that. You know, they have a huge ad spend. This is why I always say, do not copy their designs because you're not going to get anywhere if you're copying their designs. They've already started that design. They're pushing that design. They're making sales on it. And in addition to that, they're already five steps ahead of you. So by the time that you, you know, copy them, they're already onto something else. You're never going to catch up. It's always going to be a cat and mouse game. This is why you need to, you know, choose a product and choose a category that you want to go after and create your own unique design like this company did. And as you see, that one niche, one target audience made them very successful in 14 months. And that one listing is only four months old, bringing in that much money. That's pretty impressive. You know, with a 40% margin, you can make a lot from that. You can be able to expand and you have money in your pocket for pretty much not doing anything. You're just creating these designs, launching it on there. The Printify is taking care of it. They're printing it. They're shipping it to the consumer. And you're just sitting back collecting that money. So I hope this video taught you how to do proper research and find a product and niche that you want to get into. Something that resonates with you and that you're looking forward to selling online. So if you have any questions, definitely leave them below. You know I love to hear from you. And thank you so much for tuning in. I'll talk to you soon.